this whole idea of neuroinflammation. Yes. Now, when your joint hurts, you get arthritis, it's inflammation in the joint, it, it hurts. If you have a sore throat, it's inflammation in your throat, it hurts. If your brain's inflamed, it doesn't hurt, but it shows up as depression, anxiety, ADD, dementia, OCD, whatever, right? Autism. These are all inflammatory diseases of the brain. And what you're saying is that a lot of the source of the inflammation comes from imbalances in the microbiome, in the yes. bacteria in the gut, which you call dysbiosis, which is the yes. difference between symbiosis, which is a nice balance with your gut flora, which is dysbiosis, which is really bad bugs that are growing that drive inflammation. And Actually, when you're eating different foods, you're feeding different bugs. And that may be how the mechanism of this works with mental health. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. So, so a, f a few different things. And, and thank you for, for backing up on the neuroinflammation because it is such an important point. I, I'll give you an example of a patient. Um, so a gastroenterologist referred me a patient who's having severe panic for the first time at a stage in life that you wouldn't expect someone to develop anxiety and panic disorders going by the DSM-5 TR criteria. And as I took a history and spent time with him, it turns out that his actual, even though he was presenting with the panic to me, what was distressing him was his irritable bowel. He was very uncomfortable. He had developed these symptoms over time. And as we took, you know, found out more information, he had moved to a new job, highly stressed, um, eating very few meals at home, eating either in the afternoon from the vending machine, eating lunch out, getting takeout, and getting fast food on the way home. From being a relatively, you know, relatively healthy weight, um, and from being someone who was eating, I would say probably three, from what I remember, three to five meals at home in the evenings, he, his diet had changed over the period of 18 months. He developed discomfort in his bowel. Uh, he, you know, had Outs of diarrhea and constipation, but he presented to me with panic. And rather than do that, as we tried to figure out the details and placed him on the proper diet, these symptoms, it took time, but these symptoms abated over time, so, so much so that he didn't need clonazepam or Xanax or a sertraline for his symptoms of panic. Um, so, wait, 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 wait. You know, so you're saying you fixed his gut and that mm -hmm. fixed his anxiety and his panic that attacks? Fixed 